it's Miss Miter here with another fun art challenge for you. Today we are going to paint with natural materials. So what do I mean? I mean a weed that you picked in your backyard, a stick that you picked up off the ground, uh, a dandelion. All of those things can be your natural paintbrush. Now I'm going to start out uh, the demonstration with showing you how to make some paint that would work for this. So if you don't have tempera paint at home, you can make this paint out of flour, water, and food coloring, and it'll work for this. So I'm gonna start out showing you that, and then I'm gonna go into the painting activity. Okay, let's get started. So if you don't have tempera paint at home, I'm gonna show you how to make some thicker paint that we can use for this project. First, you're gonna need about half a cup of flour, a bowl in a bowl and a spoon, and about two thirds of a cup warm water. And you're just gonna start, pour some of it in, and then stir. You can see I need more, so I'm gonna pour a little bit more in. getting closer to more paint like consistency so I'm gonna pour the rest of the water in and I'm gonna continue to stir try and stir until most of the big lumps are out. Okay, so now you have a big bowl of not colored liquid here. For this project, I need to have like a big palette. So I'm just going to scoop some of this onto a paper plate. And then I'm going to take some food coloring and try adding like four drops to start. It's a little bit darker than I wanted it, so I'm just going to add a little bit more of the flour water liquid and stir it up. So you'll have enough liquid to make several colors. But once you've got your food coloring in there and mixed up, you should be ready to use it. Okay, so today we are going to need some stuff from your yard because we are making the natural paintbrushes. So uh, make sure you have permission to cut stuff and look for different textures that you can use for your natural paintbrushes. All right, so these are some examples of things that I brought in from my yard. I even got this uh, acorn cap. I thought maybe I could stamp with that. So you're gonna need that. You are going to need some tempera paint. I find this looks really nice um, with pastel colors, colors uh, that are mixed with white on a dark piece of paper, but you don't have to have that. Of course, the piece of paper and a paper to protect your work surface and some paper plates. So, I am gonna start with this, and I'm just gonna dip it in the paint and dab it on my paper. And 
to eat. It's just kind of nicer to get the texture of your natural paintbrush. You don't have to try and go back and forth. And I'm really, I'm trying to use up like all the paint before I get new ones. And that's how I get that interesting texture of the plant material on my surface. Here I'm gonna use the dandelion and I'm just gonna kind of use it like a stamp. Effect. I think it gets even better the less paint I have on the dandelion. Yeah, I was able to do a lot of stamps with that one before it ran out. I'm gonna try the acorn cap. Yeah, this one's hard to use because it's not much to grip. look like anything you're just trying out different materials dipped in paint and creating some interesting textures on your paper abstract painting done with a natural paintbrush is done. Snap a picture, upload it to Dojo. Uh, I love seeing what you guys have created. For kindergarten and first grade, if you submit six projects before the end of the year, you're going to get an outstanding in art. And I have several friends who have already earned that. So congratulations. All right, boys and girls, I will talk to you again soon.